Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Eddie Hearn says he would love to see his fighter, former welterweight champion Kell Brook, face Jared Hurd. Jared Hurd responds. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in now. Eddie Hearn, he did an interview recently, and he says, Of course, Amir Khan is the big focus for Kell Brook, but I was interested to see Jared Hurd's comments. And that's a fight we would definitely be interested in, right? Jared Hurd, he responded or followed up because he's the one that I think first mentioned Kell Brook. And he tweeted this out. After July, let's make it happen. Hashtag Hurd Brook, hashtag Swift Nation. And it's a, it looks like a fight poster of Hurd and Brook. So I want to get my thoughts on this particular and potential 154 pound fight. Jared Hurd just beat Edis Landilada. I was there. Shout out to Vegas, Hard Rock. Um, it was a good fight. It was a close fight. And he showed a lot nonetheless because he was able to take Lada's left hands, which some people thought he might not be able to. He weathered the storm and won the battle of attrition, even dropped Edis Landilada in the 12th. Very climactic stuff. I remember being in the venue and everyone was like, ooh, you know what I mean? Especially his people from the DMV, DC area. They went ham. But him and Kell Brook is a good fight. And I reckon a lot of people are going to try to fight Kell Brook because he has a name. He has a, a good, you know what I mean? A country behind him, good following, whatnot. We know what he's done, former champion. And he's probably the guy that, a guy that will get you a good payday if you fight him. And he's the least proven at 154. Now, I'm not saying that Jared Swift heard or all these guys want to just fight Kell Brook like an easy fight because Hurd shows that he'll fight anybody. He, he fought Austin Trout. That was considered a step up. Oscar Molina. He fought against Edison Di Lada, right? So he's already proven. He's already called out Charlo, both of them. I have it on tape. He called out Jamel and said after he beats Jamel, he said he knows Jamal's going to want revenge and he'll fight him too. So um, I don't question Swift Jared Hurd's ambition. But like I said, who wouldn't want to fight Kell Brook? He's in the division now. People question, does he have the size to coexist with the top dogs? And he's going to be a, a pretty big money fight and it will get you recognition. So I would like to see it. I, I don't know how Kell Brook's going to do at 54. The only fight I've really seen, basically, I've seen the Rabchenka fight. And that's not enough to gauge because you beat your old sparring partner at 54. Now, I'm not mad at the fight. You just got stopped by Golovkin and then you got stopped by Errol Spence Jr. So you needed that type of fight to come back to. I don't have no beef with that. But um, for Kell Brook's sake... We don't know. We don't know if he's going to be the same after those two eye injuries and back-to-back -back fights. And we don't know ultimately, or at least I don't know. I'm saying we, but I don't know. Personally, from uh, a connoisseur of boxing and an analyst of boxing, I don't know if he'll be the same sustaining those injuries. Is his heart going to be in the same place? You know what I mean? Because if the going gets tough in the trenches with the Jared Hurd or Jamel Charlo, you could forget it. You know what I mean? If he starts having flashbacks of that eye, because that's Swift Hurd's game plan is, is kind of um, his youth and his size and relentless attack to break you down. So if Kell Brook is not spiritually or mentally healed in terms of like if he like his eye starts bothering him or something and he kind of checks out like he did in the Errol Spence fight, then that's not the guy the guys like that at 54 are too big you know what i mean or at least the top guys jamels and and the herds and stuff like that so that's not going to be a good look but i don't know we'll see i just i can't gauge kell brook yet until i see a little bit more from him i think kell brook should fight maybe like a curtis stevens curtis stevens said he's dropping down to 54 
He packs a punch. I think that would be a good fight. Erickson Lubin and Kell Brook. These are all good fights, and at least show me a little bit more than um, Rabchanka. Rabchanka. But I like the fight. Heard versus Brook. Let me know what you guys think. The UK will probably make a bit more money just because of the great fans out there. Let me know what you guys think. It sounds like I haven't heard from Kell Brook, but at, at least Eddie Hearn, which represents Kell Brook and the fighter himself on this side, Jared Hurd, want the fight. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.